much ready to leave this campsite this morning. Are you feeling sad? Yes. I know the girls will be feeling sad because Esme and Isla especially, even Isabel, but especially Esme and Isla have had an absolute blast at this campsite. They've had the best fun ever. It's been so fun and they don't want to leave. I were begging mum and dad to yeah. extend the stay. There was a part yesterday where me and Chris were like, do you think we should book one more night? One and we thought about it, and there was actually a stage where we were like, yeah, we'll just do one more, one night. more night. What's one more night? And then at one point yesterday, we were both like, we can't. We've got too much we need to go and do and see on this trip. And to be honest, I don't think this caravan site, oh this night. camping site, caravan site, is worth 90 euros. It's not. Per night. The actual lake is amazing and the swimming pool is amazing, but the actual campsite. I'll do a, a pros and cons on this caravan site. A little bit later on but it's not it was actually 178 euros and something for two nights almost 90 euros per night um, I'll do a pros and cons because there is some really amazing things about this campsite but there is some really things some things that really suck um, one of them being zero privacy on your pitch I mean this is our van here and then this is someone else's there's like zero privacy at all anyway we finished clearing up. We've just got a few bits of rubbish on the floor. Chris always does this thing, it winds me up so bad, where he cleans everything whenever we leave somewhere, like with wipes, and then he throws the wipes on the floor, and then obviously he picks them up and puts them in the bag and takes them to the rubbish. But it just annoys me that he doesn't put them straight in the bag. He says it's easy just to clean in there and then just throw them out the door, but it always winds me up. I come back and I'm like, it looks an absolute mess. I'll pick them up. Anyway, they're the last few bits that need doing. The sub board needs to put in up. And then we'll be ready to go whilst Chris is doing the last few bits and he's going to go to the shower block and get himself ready. I've already showered this morning. I'm going to take the kiddos to the park. We need to go find Isabel and Mila. Isabel stole Mila. She's like, can I steal Mila? I want to take her down to the lake. So we're going to go down there and find them too and go find a park. Yes. Oh, <laughs> come on. Shall I call you Jace or shall I call you Buzz? Jace. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Isabel. Helicopter. A yellow one! A yellow one! Clever boy! Oh, I can see an Isabel. Sat plonked on her little butt. <laughs> Look how clear this lake is. Oh, now that we're here, I'm kind of jealous that we're not staying, staying here another day. <gasps> you find a big one? Go on then. Oh, it's so nice and calm today. It's so hot today as well. That's like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> You're trying to wind Isabella? I suppose the biggest wind up ever. Yay! Come on then, let's go find this car. <laughs> what is Esme doing? Yeah? Can you have that Yeah, if you want. That's so cool. Woo! <laughs> yes, darling. Oh, that one's not yours, darling. We can't play with that. Look at this big pirate ship. Are you ready? Are you sure? Uh... <laughs> you nutter. <laughs> is it fun? <laughs> so, do I think this campsite is worth almost 90 euros per night? Long story short, no. <laughs> And there is a couple of reasons for that. Um, most of them are probably me just being picky and comparing them to what you can get on other sites that are a lot cheaper. This is probably the most we've paid, well it's definitely the most we've paid I think for any campsite that we've ever stayed on. And is it the best one we've ever stayed on? No, unfortunately it's not. There's a few things though that I feel like could be improved. Um, to make it a little bit more justifiable for the price. The things that I didn't like about this is the um, a few things. The shower rooms, we showed those I think on the first night we got here. They're fine, they're quite small, the shower rooms themselves. And the water's not hot, it's just like warm water. So if you like really hot showers, you're not gonna get that here. I can't say that's for every moment of the day, but I've only been here two nights, the two times I've used the showers, it's been warm water. The showers themselves are fine and the shower cubicle that you get are quite good. You get a sink in there so you can get ready in there. I even saw USB ports inside the shower so you can charge your phones and devices whilst you're showering which was pretty cool. The toilets are very intimate and there's around eight toilets in the toilet block and only one sink. So there's often a queue because they're always full. There's often a queue to wash your hands after you've used the toilet which is not really ideal. I did just show the pitches 
and there is literally no privacy whatsoever so you're pretty much on you might as well be on a field with no markings whatsoever because there's there's no privacy on your pitch um there's no water on your pitch either um often you'll get like electricity and water on your pitch but there isn't um and we struggled to find where the water taps were we did manage to find them this morning and i went and i filled up all of our bottles with drinking water um because obviously it's good to do that but there's no what actual water on your pitch there is electricity on your pitch so that is a good thing the pitch sizes are okay they're not the biggest we've ever had but they're not the smallest probably either so the pitch sizes we can't really complain about there is a restaurant here on site there is a children's club and there is also a shop we haven't used any of those facilities so I can't really comment on them but the restaurant is always full so I'm guessing it's good and the children you can see at the children's club just near the toilet block and they always look like they're having fun so I'm guessing that's good too you can hire paddle boards they are 18 euros if you're under 80 kilograms and 20 euros if you're over 20 kilograms for over 80 kilograms sorry for two hours you can also get a, like a boat from here to Annecy, the town, um, and I think for an, a family of four, just say for a family of four, it's around 45 euros return. The massive plus for this site and the reason that we booked here is you are right on the lake. So no walking to get to anywhere. If you're on the lake and you need to pop back to your van, your pitch, your camping, your tent, your caravan, you can just do that really quickly. And that's pretty much why I'm guessing most people pay the premium prices to stay here. Um, at almost a hundred pounds with over, way over a hundred pitches on here. I can't even imagine like how much they must make from that per day. Obviously it's different different seasons etc it's, it's kind of a lot um for for a pitch there is quite a lot of tents here that look like they've been here a while so i don't know if they've got like long term and i have also noticed walking to the park there's a few static caravans that are here i'm guessing you can maybe hire out those as well would we come and stay here again potentially if the price was more 50 60 euros then i think it would be more justifiable and i think we'd be more happy about coming back to stay here again if they can't lower their prices um which why would they they're full so they obviously they're not going to but i feel like it would be more justifiable if they if you're paying almost 100 euros per night to stay here that they number one heat the swimming pool so it's enjoyable for everyone to play in i could not take mila in that swimming pool it was absolutely free it was colder than the lake apart from the children's pool but that's only knee deep lower than knee deep for adults and um, but if they warmed it heated up the swimming pool so they put the heating on in those if they added more sinks to the toilets because having one sink for a whole toilet block is not ideal and if they also made the pitches a little bit more private then maybe the price would be more justifiable saying that we've had a great time here not really much else to complain about they're just a few little things that we noticed that we would change if we could um, but we still had a good time here I'm glad we came and um, I definitely recommend unless you've got a van that you can wild camp in because the only one of the main positives of we stayed here one of the main reasons we stayed here is to be on the lake but there was quite a few wild camping spots on the lake for free <laughs> we didn't do that we needed to use the wash facilities etc etc but um that's just my opinion and um if you guys get to come out here obviously you guys can make up your own mind we are moving on today though and um, we've got a kind of a plan we're moving about half an hour away um just to have potentially to view something if it's amazing we might stay well this looks cool it's a slide. What? This is a bit wet. Woo! Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Say yay! Bang, bang. What are they doing? Mila! Mila! Rosabelle! Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> She's like, how are you making me bounce? So we've officially left Annecy. We've left the campsite at the Lac Blue. And we've rocked up straight away to a huge car. I'm going to call it Car 4. Yeah, car. car 4. Car 4 store, like one of the mega store ones. Mm -hmm. So we're after a couple of bits before. We're not sure if today we're going to cross the border into Switzerland or not. We can't go. Hmm. We've just walked we can't miles. Find the entrance we can't to go. Man. So we're not sure if we're going to cross the border. Where were we? Okay, so we're not sure whether we're going to cross the border today in Switzerland or not, but if we do, we want to be prepared, so we're going to get some meals in, 
get some food because we remember how expensive them stores are in Switzerland for. Hey, it was like 10 euros for a pack of pasta. Yeah, so we're stocking up on some essentials before we go. I don't mind a little bit of expense, but not 10 euros for pasta, <laughs> mate. Um, the girls are all chilling in the van right now uh, with Jace, and um, we are going to get a few little bits in before we hit the road to this next spot. Before we decide whether we're going to cross the border or not. We also need a little water extension hose thingy we'd probably do with that, something I forgot from home, which fits like the taps here to fill our water up. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get that here too. We don't need drinks, do we? In fact, yeah, because you said you bought loads of Coke the other day and you didn't. I'm and you forgot. Sarah's literally adamant, like she's like, I bought a big 12 pack of Coke I know or whatever. I, put 12. I was like, I, you didn't buy them, I've not seen them anywhere, they're not in the van. And I she was know adamant. I put 12 in. Until I picked out the receipt. Was the Coke's on the receipt? No. Do you know what must have happened? So who was though? right? No, no, no. We were both kind of, well, like, obviously it sounds like you were right, but even Esme was like, no, I put the Cokes in. I'm like, I know we did. I passed you them and you put them in. What I think has happened when we've gone to the conveyor belt when you go to pay, and maybe they were put on last, and you know, sometimes they get stuck at the top. I think that must have happened. Yeah, they've been left there. Yeah. Something like that, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd match out of today with my Stranger Things going on. Yeah. I really want one of her hoodies that she's got on for the. Oh my, I'm I'm so bad. What's the what's the what's it called? Hellfire. Hellfire. I'm not really a true fan because I know that, but I do know that. But I just forgot it. So. absolutely loving life with all of her toys down there. Unfortunately, everything else has been a bit of a fail today. We drove around for a good... Oh, you're gorgeous, aren't you? A good hour. <laughs> a good hour trying to find a pack up for the night on Lake... What's the lake? Can't remember the lake name. I'll pop it up. <laughs> it's not Lake it Baguette. Like baguette. Oh, it looks like baguette. I'll pop it up on the screen. <laughs> it's not Lake Baguette and it's nothing like Lake Baguette. Borgier or something like that. I'll pop it up on the screen, but we drove, we were recommended this place and it does look absolutely beautiful, but we did drive around for about an hour and a half. We've driven all the way around the lake and there's this Twice. Yeah, yeah, we drove the around way. twice. And then Chris said, okay, I'm getting us onto a campsite. I found one that's at the other side of the lake. Well, we, we will have to drive all the way back, but it's a big campsite. There's over a hundred pictures on there. We'll definitely get a spot. Let's go. So we drove there. And what did the sign outside the campsite say? Complete. <laughs> Chris like, no, it won't, but there's a hundred pictures. I'll go inside and ask. He went inside, the guy came to the window. You got a picture tonight? Complete. Of course it's complete. Completo. So I don't know how this happened, but we were driving down the front because we found a spot and park for night. Didn't look ideal, but it would have done. Um, and we were driving down and then we saw this little, what's this called? It's like a, it's like an open air campsite. No, it's called an air, sweetheart. It's called an air. So we're in an air right now. I'm sure you've got that wrong. So basically you have to sign up. Let me see if I can cover our issue number. Okay, so you sign up at the gate and you get given one of these it's like a pass and then you can just top this up and you can use all the different ones of these as um, that you want around it was 15 euros to stay here there's not many facilities there is electric and funnily enough despite the fact that the electric hookup is right in front of our van everyone's taken everyone's taken the um the points i think one goes all the way up there um so we can't actually use the electric, but we can top up the water. Anyway, we are pretty close to the lake. It's like a standard open air thing in a bobby do. Quite small pitches, but for that price, you don't really mind. So just gonna park up here tonight because nobody wants to drive around anymore and we can't find any nice or decent wild camping spots that feel safe to us. So this is safe, it's only 20 euros, we're happy with that. We are only about a five minute walk over the road to the actual lake. So I think I'm going to make dinner and I think 
Chris and the girls and Jace are heading over to the lake. You're going over to the lake, Isabel? Oh, Isabel's not going, she's helping me with dinner. Chris and the rest are going over to the lake now. Literally have no idea what on earth is on the side of my hat right now. I don't know what I put my head against. There's something, obviously something manky. And this is Mila destroying me with her crap that she had from my back at the supermarket. So no judgment, all right? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, man. I don't look. I can't believe that. I've just been walking around the hall of this lake with the girls with that in my hat and I didn't realize until I put the camera on my own face. Anyway, we're just taking a nice walk around Lake Borgé. It's called, I'm pretty sure. Lake Borgé. Borgé. It's so beautiful, but literally this, when we were driving around this lake, the, the reason why we came to this lake is because some friends of ours who have just been here uh, said this place was like the, the bluest water they've ever seen. Yeah, so I can't use my drone here because there's an airport around here somewhere, but basically, we came here because this place was recommended as like the deepest, bluest water you've ever seen. Way better than Lake Annecy. And when we came here, it was that. It did not disappoint. When we were driving down, I think Sarah got a few shots on the camera before the sun went in. It was insanely turquoise blue. But the second we parked up, the sun hasn't dropped or anything. It's just behind this cloud here. But the second we got here, the clouds have come over the sun and blocked it out. So we can't see that beautiful turquoise blue right now. I mean, you can a little bit. You can a tiny bit, but not really. So maybe I can get a shot of that tomorrow before we leave if we haven't already got one. But anyway, we just come for a stroll down this beautiful lakefront right now before dinner. And I think we're about to head back. The mountains with the sun setting on them over there just looks ridiculously gorgeous. And um, yeah, maybe we'll come and see the water in the morning and maybe get out there on the paddleboard, I don't know. That was the plan today, but just the day just ticked on a little bit and uh, we couldn't find anywhere to get down to the lake. So we can't go in today, but hopefully we might be able to do so tomorrow before we leave. We've got countries new tomorrow. So we'll see. Check out tonight's workstation. <laughs> Chris built this super cool like, pull out. What is he? You can't get the pan? No, I can't get out. You can't get out. Oh, it's about stuck. Two seconds, guys. Why? Because I uh, <laughs> pulled out, pulled out the fridge. Whose is that? Oh, Ew. Put that back in. Over oh, under there. There you go, love. Okay, so Chris built this super cool drawer. Inside here lives all of our cooking things. And this drawer means that you can sit down and it's really sturdy, really, really solid. So you can cook outdoors. Love it. Isabel's been a great help. I'm not going to the um, lake, I'm just going to stay here and help Mum. Mum. Sad times. Listen, right. It's period time. <laughs> it is. I'm being real. And she's been real. And I've been in great pain today, okay? Thank goodness that we're in a time where I can have paracetamol. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't know what I'd do. Anyway, point is, Mum wanted some... Fajitas, fajita, we call them fajitas. We wanted a box of fajitas and for me to get out of this bed and walk like 10 seconds down the cabin to get them, by that time you could have quickly just run around and grab them from the front door. Easy peasy. So basically I'm sat here preparing, preparing all place. of our, huh? But we're basically in this same I'm preparing place. tonight's dinner here and Isabel's just chilling on a bed here. But mum, I've just got comfy. You must relate. <laughs> When you get comfy, you can't move <laughs> after that. <laughs> oh, Mila likes a burrito. Is that yummy? Is it so good? Oh my gosh. She must have been a hungry girl. It's a little bit spicy. A tiny yeah, bit. It is mild, but they still have a little bit of spice. She's not used to spice, is she? <laughs> good girl. <Hi> baby. <laughs> So cute. Guys. Whoa, that's a bite and a half, Mila. Yes, oh, Isla. Can we talk about the fact that me and Daddy are matching today? You are, yeah. you look yeah. so cool. I'm a hellfire. Oh, oh, hell yeah. yeah, I was about to say, I think I think um, a bird might have taken one on your shot. It was Mila. <laughs> in the supermarket. Oh, oh, Mila. Mila. Oh. Mila. 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 Leftover, and I was like, "Come on, baby, eat a wrap. I don't want to bin them." And he's like, "No, I'm really full." And then he goes, "Go on, then I'll eat, I'll eat one plate." And so he picked it up, <laughs> and he goes, "Dad, dad, no, no, no!" And we're like, "What, what, what?" He goes, and she goes, 
Let's do the wrap challenge. I can't go. I've wanted to do this challenge for so, so, so long I've just eaten. I've got hiccups. I don't think this is going to be fair because I can't stop laughing just thinking about it. I'll beat you on with this. <laughs> <laughs> so we, <laughs> we're going to do the wrap challenge. The girls want to have a turn too. So we're going to do the wrap challenge. If anybody's not heard of this, I'm pretty sure you have because it's kind of old now. But you basically put water in your mouth and then hit <laughs> each other in the face with a wrap. This is going to be funny. Oh my god. Wait, you can't laugh now. Jace came up and swiped my wrap. It's not got half a wrap. It's all right, Mum. Have you got half a wrap? It'll, it'll still work. Have you got half a wrap? Mm -hmm. Half a wrap, half a wrap. Come on, you put it. Full minute, because I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. You have to do it to the side. You don't spit it at Mum. You get the end of the end, not to spit it at Mum. Eww. Oh. <laughs> no, you got to sit serious, Mum. Oh my god, what are you doing? Mum, we can't waste more. Yeah, Mum, we'll just hold it. Just hold it. I'm covered. That's disgusting, Mum. Mum! Mum! What? Mum! Oh my god, this is like, this is what's the point? What are you doing? People walking past him are so confused why he's slapping each other with a rat. Careful, you don't smell. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed our little slap <laughs> taco <laughs> challenge, whatever we're calling it. Slap wrap <laughs> slap wrap challenge. <laughs> We first saw that on like an Instagram reel ages ago and we were like, we have to do that one day because it'd be so funny. And obviously it was so funny that Sarah couldn't even do the challenge hardly, so. <laughs> I'm so useless. <laughs> Fingers crossed you guys find it funny too. But we're all settled down for bed. We've just had some nice cup of teas. Everyone's watching some like, just tell it some Netflix and winding down. So we are definitely here in a brand new country tomorrow. Very excited about that. And so make sure you come back and check us out at 5 p.m. and find out where we're going. It's we're gonna be good. We're in Switzerland. You told them earlier today. Did I? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Alright, you already know. Well, you don't know where, so it's all good, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. And we'll see you tomorrow at 5. Good night, guys. Good night, guys.